The beat is the heart and soul of any music you hear. The beat is the heart and soul of any music you hear. Welcome, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to another edition of The Beat. We got the beat today. We got the go-go beat. We got the go-go drummers. We got new school. We got old school. When you talk about the beat, you got to talk about go-go. So here we are. We're going to talk with three, nah, four legends. I got four legends in the house today. To my right, I got Wheeze. In the middle, we got DC. Following the right, we got Jungle Boogie. And way on the outside, we got Go Go Mickey. We got some drummers here. We got some drummers. All the people who know anything about Go Go know something about these people. So what we're going to, I'm going to start off. What is Go Go? Start with you, Weez. Well, I believe Go Go is, is around of a heritage of music. If you, if you start from the beginning, Chuck Brown probably originated it when he told the drummer to just continue with the beat. And when he continued with the beat, then you had the kungas, and then it kind of got into an empty space where there was no music, and that had to fill up. And the you know, only thing that was going then was the congos, a cowbell, a tambourine, and the drums. And there's where the uniqueness of what was created as go-go came about. When Chuck Brown said, let the beat continue, and then everyone who didn't play, who wasn't to play, was just a musician as a a percussionist or drummer, basically whatever they felt, they started playing. And it was just a continuation of a beat. But I believe it's from the inside. A lot of it is probably black heritage music. That's why we got Jungle Boogie over here <laughs> from the jungle, or originator of the Kungas. But that's what I believe Go Go is. Mm -hmm. A continuation of the beat from, the, from what you feel that makes people dance, the continuation of the part that makes people dance. Mm -hmm. So your set drummer, um, who influenced you the most? My influence started, um, actually I was founded by Sugar Bear and, and Reds mm -hmm. when they saw me play with a group out of Southeast. And um, I started playing with Reds and the boys. And then uh, went from there to Funk's band, probably utensils. But my influence came when Foots heard me playing with his brother's band and he, he, he got me the position to sit behind him. And he was probably my most influential musician, probably still my greatest from my heart mm -hmm. drummer because I knew him, he was a brother to me. And I, I respect every aspect that he distri distributed in Go-Go back then. Being a, being a major icon of mm -hmm. Go-Go. Foots, David Foots, Quentin, Quentin Foots Davison is his name. Well, DC, let me, let me get a little input from you. What Tell me what you've been doing, and uh, I'm gonna ask the same question. Who influenced you? As far as I say, influencing me, I'm, I'm a country boy, man. I came up here, and you know, I didn't know nothing about where you come I, from. Halifax, County, Virginia. Oh yeah. Yeah, farming, tobacco, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Uh huh. So when I moved up here, it was like, you know, I was scared to come to the city for real. Uh huh. You know, I thought the city down there was somebody that stick a needle in your arm and. You come up here, you had to get a man your money for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So I was, didn't want to go up there. When I came up here, though, I got in a school band. And I met who he was talking about, Quentin Foots. Mm -hmm. And he asked me that I want to be in the band. Man, I made it to the band practice that evening. It was about four or five hours late because I didn't know D.C. <laughs> and it was right around the corner for me. <laughs> but my influence that we got playing was the people. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm a saxophone player now. Um, what's his name? Leroy. Leroy was, was really my, you know, that's influenced me a lot. Chuck Brown player, mm -hmm. saxophone player, Leroy. Mm -hmm. But the people and me playing that cowbell and the strong, you, you know, go was like a vibe. Mm -hmm. You feel it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you got to be with it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and like Chuck, he's uh, seemed like him, Jane Funk, and Lil Benny, they just knew everybody names that was on that floor dancing. I mean, they, they made you a part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what Go-Go is. Everybody on that floor, on that band saying, is one. Mm -hmm. And you, it's just a group, man. Yeah. You can't help but love it. I'm getting chills now talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. All right, let's move on to Jungle. Tell, give me a little input, Jungle. Tell me, tell me, give me a little history. Tell me who influenced you, you know? Well, I was influenced when I heard the, um, what's the song, uh, We the People, by Chuck Brown and Soul Search. Uh -huh. uh, 
come on with the little uh, Congo real crack You know, I used uh-huh. to love that stuff. And yeah. I was like, ask my oldest brother, what's that sound? And he told me, those are bongos. And I said, man, you think you can get me a set? He went and got me a set. <laughs> oh. And I've been playing ever since. Yeah. Ever since. That's a good yeah. story right there. Brother hooked you up, huh? Yes, indeed. My yeah. oldest brother. That's Bless good, man. That's good. Yes, sir. That's real good. So, but do you, do you have... um. You've been you've been drumming for a long time, so you kind of you you're influencing other generations, new generations, oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So that's that's good. I, I I heard Jungle Boogie, the legend. You know that's what that's what I heard. You know I'm like, and you influence a lot of people. We got Go Go Mickey here who who's giving you all kinds of praise. So now we got bring it up to the present a little bit here. We got Go Go Mickey in the house. Come on, give us a little input, Go Go. Uh, well, like they talk about uh, Foots, man, Foots used to bowl together. I was a drummer since two first, and then what happened it changed over because a Congo Spike, you know, had opened up for me with one of my first bands that I started with. So then that took me to listening to this man, the man right here. Uh huh. So from Sugarfoots and Foots to Jungle Book, Sugarfoots used to play with Chuck Brown. Uh huh. So after listening to him for the last, well, going back then, it might have been ten years back when I first started. Everything, everything I feel, it's a feel of his and my own thing put together. So, I mean, I just love the music myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Good. Hey, well, let's 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 talk. Let's. I, I kind of want to start back at the beginning. Let's talk about the '80s. Let's talk about the '80s. The '80s groove. Uh, how was the music? Because I've noticed mu- go-go music has changed over the decades. And what I like to do is hear a little bit of input about what was happening in the '80s with the go-go and the beats. We're gonna and actually what we're gonna do is you guys gonna demo a little beat. For, from the '80s, after we after we talk a little bit here, so give me some input on the '80s. Just speak up whenever you feel like it. Well, I think that really the difference between what well, the '80s and the '90s, the difference was like the beat. Mm-hmm. Gogo, to me, Gogo to me is like music with a beat. Uh-huh. It always had a rhythm, mm-hmm. you know. And then later on, like in the '90s or something, it got to this open hi hat thing. Mm-hmm. And it took all the rhythm away, you, you know, all the horns, mm-hmm. you know, it, it just started to disappear. But it's it was for a younger age, and they was I went and it was they was going for it, man. I uh-huh. mean, they was having fun, mm-hmm. but I couldn't understand it. Uh-huh. But now I understand it since I'm gone, <clears throat> you know, I understand the differences. But to me, I still like my groove. Uh-huh. So you more the '80s, man? Oh, huh? No, nah, man, yeah, '80s, yeah, I'm '80s, 80s. Yeah, yeah. '79, '80s. Yeah, I love it. Good, good, good. That groove and that music, uh-huh. and then throw that beat in there with it. You can't beat it. Well, how about this? Um, what we're gonna do is, I, speaking of the '80s, I like for because you know I, I like people to experience what what go go is. So, would you guys mind giving me a little demonstration of what the '80s beat was all about? Sure, sure I can. You no know, problem. we're gonna do that. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a pause here. We're gonna go hit a little bit, show you some '80s beats. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the beat. Hey, now you're in for a treat. We're going to promise you some go-go drumming. Now we're going to hear what we're going to hear right now, what we were talking about earlier, we're going to hear some of the beats from the 80s. So first of all, we're going to start off with Jungle. Jungle, what are you going to play for us? Good, good. Weeds, what you gonna play for us, babe? All right, all right. Now go go, what you gonna do? Come on board, babe. Now we're going to put it together. What did you call that? One on one. We're going to do the one on one for you. Here we go. Take it away, guys.
He told about the one on one. It's just like Jack and Chip going up the hill to have a look for fun. On the way, yeah, Mickey, y'all, and they told about the one on one. Sounds so sweet, fellas. Got my main man, Jungle Boogie. Go, go, Mickey. My main man, Weeze. Everything is real sweet up in here tonight. Pump it, baby. Go say hello to a sweet young lady named Cindy. Oh, my baby, Penny. Sweet dimples with no pimples, baby. You know I got to love you. Do it, baby. Give me that. Give it here. Give me that cupcake. Oh, baby, that looks down. I just love the way you shake that thing. I just love the way you move that thing, baby. Break it on, break it on. Going up the hill one time. It's like Jack and Jill going up the hill. Damn, I love the tomorrow. On the way to met the Godfather, he told him about the one on one. It's just like going up the hill to have a look the fun. On the way to met Jungle Boogie, he told him about the one on one. Give it to him now. So in the music you hear. The beat is the heart and soul of any music you hear. The beat is the heart and soul of any music you hear. <laughs> 